Hi, this is Pastor Rick. I want to talk to you about Living Hope, and I want to ask you a question. Do you have, ever have anyone in your life who tries to discourage you or sow seeds of doubt into your life, cause you to question your faith in God or even your self-confidence? Well, that is a very, very old trick of the devil. And I want to read something about that to you. It's in the book of Genesis, the third chapter. Satan was saying to Eve, Did God really say you must not eat from any tree in the garden? What Satan did by asking that question was to sow <clears throat> a uh, doubt into the mind of Eve. He actually misquoted God when he said that, and he does that all the time. You'll find people that tell you things that are supposed to be in the Bible. If you check them out, a lot of times they've misquoted what God's Word actually says. But in this case, he just sowed the question, did God really say? Well, he didn't say from any tree, he just said from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. That's because God's trying to protect us from experiencing personal knowledge of evil. That means to experience evil itself. What Satan was doing was trying to say, I think God's holding out on you. There's something better than God. Why, there's evil. You can try that. And you know there's a lot of people in the world that get themselves caught up into uh, all kinds of addictions and kinds of behaviors that are habit forming that have ruined their lives. And if you're a person that's gotten caught into some of that stinking thinking, I want to tell you that God can help you to turn that around. You know, the devil is a master at making us question God and question his word, the Bible. God's command to Adam and Eve was clear. They weren't supposed to eat of, they could eat of any tree in the garden, actually, except one. And if they ate of that one tree, then death would come upon them. By the way, this death God is talking about doesn't mean you immediately cease living physically. It means that you are separated from God. The relationship between you and God has been damaged, broken, and it's dead. I'm sure that you've had times in your life when you had a friend or a family member that did something to you and it damaged the relationship between you and them. That's the kind of death we're talking about here. This is a death that separates us from God by doing sin. That is something that uh, God has commanded us not to do in order to protect us. And that's the first question in the Bible. Did God really say? Satan misquotes God all the time, as I said. And uh, what he was trying to do is to cause them to doubt God and to get doubt God's word and to believe Satan... Satan is actually, the Bible calls him, the father of lies, the deceiver. And whenever you listen to people that are attacking God, they'll always, always use lies, and deceit, and misquotes in order to discourage you. The truth is, Satan is the one who's mean-spirited. God is not. God always loves us. And when Eve continued to talk to Satan... There's just one more problem. Standing at her side was Adam. Adam failed to do what he was supposed to do, which is protect his wife. And he should have said, we're out of here. We're not talking to this guy. Don't listen to him. He's lying to you. Instead, Adam stood there like most of us guys and listened to his wife and did what Satan was encouraging her to do, and that is to disobey God. You know what we all have to do, men and women? Stop. Listen to God. Obey Him. Be careful about listening to unbelievers, to those who are used of Satan, because all they'll do is damage your hope in God and take your eyes off of Him. I say to you, put your eyes on God, trust Him, and He'll restore a living hope in your heart. God bless you.